From doing chores around the base to material gathering all the way to dying in the nether, trying to get some blaze rods at a fortress. This episode has got it all. So stick around to the end because I also have a fun little build planned. Leave a like if you enjoy and let's get on into the video. What's up YouTube, my name is Diamond Dimer and welcome to episode 14 of the Survival Let's Play. Last episode was fantastic. I built up this Weeping Willow, which turned out really good and you guys left a ton of support on that video. But if you haven't checked it out and you missed it, that's okay, I'm gonna leave a card in the top right corner. The last thing I forgot to do was actually get some flowers and some bone meal to decorate the outside of this build. Even the grass in here could use some flowers or something like that. So I'm gonna go grab some of that real quick. I actually have a few things on the agenda for this video. At first things first, I want to obviously gather some more resources like wood, stones, and coal and that sort of thing. But I really need to go to the nether to get some blaze rods. Because over there is my potions house and I haven't been able to make a potion yet. Obviously besides that, the bigger issue is the eyes of ender. I'm gonna have to craft some eyes of ender to get to the stronghold. What's up chicken? Okay, that's gonna be working up to build us some bone meal. In the meantime, I'm gonna come over here and plant some flowers. Ooh, don't stab me. Yeah, I'm gonna put some bone meal down over here. I think that'll help the area. I think I said it again, I meant flowers. Putting down some flowers. <laughs> I need some blue back here in this area. And right up front would be amazing. Yes. And let's get one of these rose bushes thrown down. And why not one right here? One right here. And then obviously I'm going to throw some just back here. It should be enough for now. I'm going to throw some of these pink ones down. I'm going to remove this log and place a dirt block so I can plant some of these down. Yeah, that's looking really good. I got a ton of these yellow ones, so I'm just gonna plant a bunch. And I should have some bone meal ready right about now. Well, I got 27 and I'm gonna sleep the night away so I can get back to work. Oh, and I forgot to mention the number one thing I wanted to do in the episode is build a pond underneath that custom tree, the weeping willow for some axolotls. And the idea for the axolotl pond was given to me by doomwalker42 in the comment section of my last video. And what I'm wanting to do is have like a little entrance hidden like back here, since it's already kind of going down. I think I could make a bit of a hole right here and it's stairway down and tunnel its way over here under the tree. It'll be carved out and the water could be supplied by this giant body of water. It all makes sense. It's gonna be amazing lore. All I have to do is find some axolotl. Easy, right? That'll be the hard part, but for now I could still build it in today's episode. So yeah, now that I got some bone meal, let me get to work adding in some grass, breaking these two tall ones. Yeah, that was a ton of bone meal, and I'm not done it yet. However, I do need to add in some bushes. Just to make it a little easier on the eyes. Whoa, we got some bad guys on our hands. Got some more bone meal, which is the good news. Okay, the captain's taken down, but it took a lot of shooting from his partner. Because I did not want to get that bad omen. But I think there was one more bad guy that got stuck on one of these fences. He shot my dang horse. It's like they're gone, though. Leave my dang horse alone. And I got more bone meal, so I'm just placing that down. All right, I got some food. I got my warped fungus on a stick and I got some torches. I guess I can make a couple more. I better grab some cobblestone. I am making my way back to the nether fortress. This is a really dangerous journey, so 
I'm going to be leaving my bow and arrow here for now. It's too good of an item to lose until I fight that dragon. I'm gonna go find that fortress so I can get some blaze rods from these blazes. It's gonna take a lot of work. I'll meet you in there. Okay, I'm on the strider. This is gonna probably take a minute, so I'm gonna meet you over at the fortress. Well, 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 we got one already, and I'm already on fire. I don't care though. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, well, that was scary. Whew. Let me get some hearts back, will you? No, please, 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 please. Let me heal up. Okay, got some hearts. Baked potatoes are not doing much. There he is. No blaze rod. What? Ooh, diamond horse armor and a saddle. I don't know how I missed that. I will take it, though. Why don't you come over here instead of being by that wither skeleton? Got him blocked off. Ooh, got one. Got one, got one, got one. Ooh, I got two of them. Nice. That did not go well. Okay, I'm back. I got all my stuff, and this time I brought my bow should have an easier time ooh aghast yeah this thing one shots the withers I'm pretty sure I killed that gas too oh shoot if I just don't let him sneak up on me I should be good it's the hard part though those suckers will sneak up on you. Yeah, I killed that one. I killed that wither. Let me just box myself in here for now. I need me a safe haven. Okay, I'm gonna throw down a crafting table, a chest just to throw in some random stuff. Look at those things over there. There's three of them. Boom. There's one down, two down, three. Well, at least this thing is getting tested. Okay, I'm up to four blaze rods. But you guys have seen the process. You've seen me die already and come back. So I'm going to continue doing this until I have about 15 blaze rods. And then I want to meet you guys back at the base. Okay, guys, I'm back home and I did get the 15 blaze rods. I also got the saddle. That was quite the adventure and I'm glad it's over. Now that I'm back home, I want to chill out a little bit and i wanted to invite you guys along with me i'm gonna build or try to build a wagon so i'm gonna need some oak wood some spruce wood definitely some trap doors maybe some stairs oh definitely a gate Ooh, stormy again okay can i sleep this one away or is it not a thunderstorm hmm, let's try okay it's not a thunderstorm so my apologies for the rain but i do want to get some building started and since we're over here building by the tree, I wanted to add in some buildings around here, some lamps, other kind of decorations. I'm not really sure yet, like signs. I'm not sure yet. What I do know is I want to build a wagon. I think that'll add in a good amount of life for now. I want it to be right in here. That way, when we're on our trail to view the tree or to connect back up over here, which will eventually connect to that road, there's going to be a wagon placed perfectly right in here. Okay. What do I want to do first? Let's see here. Let's bring up two blocks like this. Let's set the seat of the wagon up here like that. I can bring this down. 
and these will be the wheels probably so if these go on the front like that i can put the signs along the sides like this or sort of like arms like armrests to the seat this is obviously where the horses would be tied those are the wheels so what i need to do is bring this back like it's the trailer part of the wagon dang it i don't have a crafting table hold on i can fix that i need two more trap doors for the wheels oh not right there yes okay looking good i'm gonna go in use some wheat and make up some hay bales some barrels as well and a lantern maybe a chest okay let's put down a hay bale and let's throw down some barrels I'm gonna have to scoot this up under here, probably, huh? That looks really good. Yeah, I like the way that turned out. It's obviously makeshift. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like a wagon, but it does the job. I think it's gonna add a lot to this area and I'm happy with it. That's the main thing. I'm gonna sleep this night away and then move on to the next part of the video. Okay, I'm getting ready to go find the stronghold or at least to go look for it. But before I head out, I want to get some chores done since everything's grown up. It's not doing any good just sitting here, so. I'm gonna get some chores out of the way. Okay, with the chores out of the way, I can now move on to creating some eyes of ender. All right, I made 16 and I have two left over. All right, all 18 and I even have five blaze rods left over and some blaze powder. That's good. All right, I have all 18 eyes of ender. I have my bow, shield, armor, and I even have some more food I need to grab before heading out. But the point is, I'm about to head out on an adventure and find this dang stronghold. All right, guys, there's no time like the present. Let's get over here by the boat in case I have to sail away. It's usually the easiest way to do these things. Ready? Here we go. Let's see where we need to head out. Okay. It's looking like we're going to have to head out that way. No oh, way. One of them already broke. That was the first one. Dad gum. I got to be careful with these and not run out. I'm going to take this river as far this direction as I can. And then I'm going to get out and head out even further on foot if I have to. Yeah, I knew it. See, I remember this river comes to an end right here. I'm gonna pick my boat up, get back in the water, and keep heading out. There we go. Let's see, just in case. I need to see if we're still heading in the right direction. Perfect, actually. Holy crap. No way that just sunk to the bottom. There we go. I got it. Okay. At least I know I can head out in this direction. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get to work finding this thing. It shouldn't be too bad of a deal. If we're lucky, if I'm blessed, it will be close. Look at that bunny rabbit. Poor guy. Doesn't even know he's glitched. All right, I'm going to keep looking. Okay, the sun is setting and the pearl actually headed me backwards 
right there. So I don't know what that means. I think we're really freaking close on the river there. So close, in fact, I can head back home because I actually stupidly forgot a bed. I don't know what I was thinking. I gotta go home, sleep the night away. I'm gonna go all the way back around and try another pearl. I think I might have the location down. Oh my gosh, look at all those monsters. Don't F with me, guys. Uh-uh, nope. These are my trees right here. I know it. Creepers, creepers. No, 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 no. Get back in the water. I gotta sleep the night away. I finally made it home. Okay, I'm getting back on the water. I got a bed this time. Oh, before I leave again, I need to get some ladders. A ton of ladders. If I'm gonna make my way back up after finding the stronghold, I'm gonna need ladders. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go find this stronghold. Okay, guys, I made this little contraption here in the water because if you look all the way down there is the entrance to the stronghold. And it's getting dark up here, so I'm gonna head all the way down. First, I should probably throw some light up here so nothing spawns. Anyways, yeah, I was really close to the base somehow, and I actually managed to keep 14 eyes of Ender, so not bad. I did, however, use all the ladders, every ladder. But as you can see, we're down here in the stronghold. I haven't explored at all yet. I just added some cobblestone and brought you guys back. So let's look and see what we have down here. Oh, shoot. We got a creeper already. Some skeletons. Luckily, my armor is doing a lot of protecting. Yeah, there's a hallway leading down there. That's pretty terrifying. And then a door leading that way. We also have a door up here. So I'm not really sure where to go, but I have to pick one because I need to find where this portal room is. I don't want to head down there because it looks really dark. So does this room, but it's right ahead. So I'm actually going to break the door just so I don't get trapped in here. Wow. Another large opening. I'm going to keep that closed for now just so we can see. Oh, dead end. Anything this way? Ooh, another stairway. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to explore the rest of that yet. Since the entrance is right there, I want to be mindful of where I go. Came through here, turn the corner, and there's a stairway. Okay, let's check this out. Ooh, this must be the dungeon area. Is there any prisoners? Who do you have locked away in here? Shoot! That is scary. There's some darkness back there. Oh, and that's the portal room. Holy crap. I just saw a silver fish spawn or whatever they're called. I need to destroy this thing. Boom. Just like that, we found the freaking stronghold, guys. I'm going to go ahead and fill up this lava and get rid of it. We don't need any accidents. And I'm also going to light up this entire room. Heck yeah. This one was the easiest one to find. I feel like it was right near the base. And even the portal room was quick to find. All right, I'm gonna throw a crafting table down because I need a chest. I can throw all this stone into it. I need to take my bed out. I'm gonna keep it right there. But yeah, I guess it's time to put down these eyes of Ender and activate this portal. We are not, I repeat, not going into the end in this episode. I am not prepared. This baby is activated. Look how trippy that looks. Wow. But yeah, as I was saying, we are going next episode to kill and slay and finish off the Ender Dragon. And to be honest, guys, I think it's going to be the end of this season. So I want the next episode to be a good close to the season. We're still going to stay in this world, but I think I'm going to start all over on a new series. Okay, I have what I need. I'm going to head back now. This was a very successful trip, but I'm ready to be back at the base because I have some more preparing I need to get done in order to fight that dragon next episode. Okay, and I have it marked pretty clearly on the river, and I do know how to get back here, so I'm heading back. Hey, fish. Anyways, on my way back, I wanted to give you guys another riddle. Since I got a couple comments saying how much they liked the riddle, I thought it'd be a good idea to present another one. So here it is. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? And I think this one's pretty cool. So I hope you guys like it. The answer is actually going to be in the description of the video in case you're interested. But it would probably be funner if you just took a couple guesses and left them down in the comments. I want to see what you guys can come up with. And when you're ready for the answer, just check the description. But we are back at the house. Look at this thing. Man, I'm ready to get to work on this axolotl pond. I just hope in the next episode or in between episodes, I can actually find an axolotl or two. I got to find at least one. And it is a promise to you guys that 
even if it's off camera, I'm going to find some axolotls. And if I find them, then maybe I'll bring them back on camera in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. But we're back here in the storage house. I'm going to put away some things and then I'm going to bring you guys back. I got a few stones with me now, so I'm getting ready to build. Ooh, there's that wagon. Got to admit, I could have done better, but I don't care. That's the beauty of it. I think it's fine. And I think my main concern is this underground tunnel that's going to go under the tree. I need to have some kind of entry right here. I'm going to break some dirt back just like this. I'm going to pick up this coal. And picking up all that coal, I actually got started on a pretty good cave here. I just need to continue it a few layers down, and then it's going to tunnel its way past or through here, I should say. And it'll be sitting underneath that tree. Okay. Thanks again for this amazing idea. This is going to be fun, and I'm going to throw it into time-lapse mode, so I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Okay guys, I just got done and I think this is probably one of my favorite builds ever. As you can see, I made this pathway that connects up to it so that way I can walk on over here and look at this entrance. It's like a little hidden cave. It's like, what the heck is this and where does it lead? I got to know. But real quick, I need to put some bone meal down just to finish out this area. Probably need some flowers, but oh well. Yeah, there's the tree and if you go down here, let's just follow this down. See where it leads. Boom, look at this thing. You walk down the tunnel and you come up to this pond. It's the perfect size for some axolotl. You got some glow berries hanging down, some copper ore left in there just because I loved how natural it looked. It adds a pop of color. And then we have this waterfall that leads from where? I don't know. But if we go to the top, we can see that there's a body of water over there. So it makes sense. It's working its way through the ground into this beautiful pond. And that must be where the axolotl came from. Let me know what you guys think down below how this thing turned out and what you want to see next. I can't wait to find some axolotl. Guys, I got so much to do. I got so much preparations to do and I'm excited. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And if you are, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It's really going to help me out. You guys have been supporting the series a lot. So thank you so much. But that's actually all I have time for. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future Minecraft videos. And definitely stay tuned because I'm about to slay the Ender Dragon. My name is Diamond Dimer and I am signing off.